Hi learners, welcome to day 12 of Power Query Editor Job Ready Series by DevK Learner, a bit forward daily. Today we officially enter module 2, Query Transformation and our first stop, Power Query Editor. Let's start exploring the powerhouse behind data cleaning and transformation. So uh, here we are talking about day 12 and in the day 12 we are talking about the Power Query Editor. So what is Power Query Editor? It is a special window in Power BI where we shape and clean our data before using it in report. It is like a kitchen where all raw ingredient, your data, gets cleaned, chopped, cooked, and made ready for the final dish, which is your report. It's visual, no code, friendly, and very action you take is recorded as a step, so you don't have to repeat these steps again. Let's see how to open it. So for that, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take you to the Power BI desktop, and in the Power BI desktop, what I can do to open is go to the Home tab. From the Home tab, I can go to the Transform Data, and then click on Transform Data, and it will open up the Power Query Editor for you. Now, when you are working on the Power Query Editor, we are we are talking about various layouts there. So the first layout is the Query Pane or the Left Pane. So if I take you to the Query Editor, this section which you see on the left side where it is written Queries and the heading is the Left Pane or the Queries Pane. Going to the next one, which is the Current Pane or the Center Pane, which gives you the display of the data. So actually, that is the section that you see in the middle is giving you the information about the data. So this is where you're talking about the center pane. Then the next is the query setting or the right pane. So if you are here on the right side, you will see the query setting where you can change the name of the query and then you will see all the applied steps. The transformations that you have performed on the data. The next thing is the ribbon or the menu control like all Microsoft products, right? They have gone to a concept called ribbon. So if you see on the top, right, we have the ribbon and we have various tabs like home, transform data, add column, view, tools, and help. So these are the various sections that we have. And then at the bottom, where you see 12 columns, 91 rows, column profiling based on top, 1,000 rows, review downloaded on Saturday. So these, this place is called the status bar. So that is where the data information and the column profiling information is shown. So if you see here, you'll be seeing that it is saying the column profiling is based on top 1,000 rows. I can change it to the entire data set if it has a lot of data, but this is a this is time consuming. So these are the various sections that we have there. The next thing that I wanted to talk about is or want to emphasize is why is Power BI or Power Query important? Power Query is the foundation of data cleaning. Without clean and well-structured data, your visuals will mislead and they will be of no use, right? Also, Power Query automates everything. What is the meaning of that? That every step gets saved on the right side, if you see. Every step is saved here, right? Every step is saved here and when it is saved right if anything changes in the source tomorrow you just have to refresh and all the steps that you have applied here would be up automatically executed on the data and you'll be getting the same data now that's why this window is the first step towards getting job ready now tips of the day right you will see in the applied step some of the actions having these gear symbol right or this gear symbol 
So what that implies is that once you click on it, you can edit it, but it will open up a dialog box for you. It is, again, you can see that this is super helpful when you have to tweak the filters or you have to tweak the different kind of settings and splits, right? That is all that I wanted to show you in this particular section. We have also talked about trackable steps, auto refresh when source data get updated, no need to repeat, uh, repeat the transformation manually so you don't have to do it manually. And uh, I've given you the tip as well. Now, coming up in the day 13 is how you can remove and filter rows like a pro. So we'll be talking about that in the next video. If you're enjoying the series and like the video, subscribe to DevK Learner and drop a comment saying power ready. Tomorrow in day 13, we'll start learning how to remove filter data in Power Query. The real transformation begins from there, right? So once again, thanks. Thanks for your time and good day, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.